What's up, dude? dude yeah, Matt, nice so to meet you. Sick, dude. Oh, I appreciate TikTok, it, man. I love watching them. I dude. appreciate it, buddy. I like your truck here. Yeah, thank you. So we're having AC problems? Yeah, man. So when I first got the truck, the AC wasn't working. Like at all? Or is it? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It would it would leak. You put it in it, but it would leak super fast, right? Oh, okay. So I did some research and I put dye in it and it was like leaking from like the firewall it was the coil whatever it's called like inside that box yeah what is it condenser or coil the condenser or yeah yeah it was that and that was a bitch to change in itself you had to pull that whole dash out and oh change yeah the box and stuff did you guys change that yeah we did oh dang oh man well, kudos there but uh and then it was good but then eventually it just got a slow like leak in it like it was good for like a month maybe and then it would just like slow get slow leak again and stuff and it would come out and i would like put freon in it and it'll last like two weeks. Did you see where that stop. came out of? No, I didn't put that in it again, but. Okay. And then now, uh, I it's saying that my like pressure is like full and I can't put Melfi on it, but it's just not working. I don't know if okay. my clutch is kicking in or something now. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I, I can tell you that. that. It's been like a pain, man. Yeah, for sure. And getting to that box was a pain. I don't know <laughs> yeah, I dude. Like, that's, that's incredible, man. That. Yeah, those are no fun. Yeah, I know. That was like a day and a half project. All right, so, well, you said you were full on Freon. The pressure says it's full. I have the gauge. Well, I have, I have more Freon in my back seat right now. Okay, well, I'll hook up my gauges and see, and then we'll just turn it on, and if, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll get, I'll, I'll put, put my gauges on it, because I can read your high and your low pressure. So, um, but while I'm doing that, we'll turn it on, and then I'll try to probe that, okay. uh, uh, the compressor, and see what it does. Like go to school to be a mechanic or like i did yeah yeah i went to college for a couple years yeah. for uh one for automotive and then another for diesel oh, sick. yeah it's for sure time it was for sure a lot of it took a lot of time to do but uh like because i had to work at the same time simultaneously but it was for sure worth it you ever work at shop oh yeah i've worked at three different shops yeah and i mean i never had really a bad experience working for them i just I knew that I wouldn't, I knew that I would only be where I was at forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. If that made any sense. Some people are just fine with it, you know, going to work and then doing their job and then coming home, but yeah. I always wanted a little bit more piece of the pie, but yeah, I figured they wouldn't sure. lend me over a fork. Especially one company, I literally got a diploma just to like show my, um, I don't know, just to show my eagerness, I guess, my desire to be better. Or, be a little bit more than what I was and yeah. I got nothing from it so I was like man and I did shit there dude that no other mechanics pulled off I put a nice. transmission and a diesel all alone that sucks sometimes when companies do that like yeah some of them are some of them are like that yeah, they're like require a degree in positions I don't even need them need like the yeah All right, so it shows we only have uh, about eight eight pounds in there, so we need a little bit more than that. Do you have some in that can, yeah. you said? Oh, it feels like there's plenty in there. It's been a while since I used one of these. Yeah. Those things get pretty high. They used to be, I feel like they used to be way cheaper than they are now. It's accurate, though. It was accurate. It was reading the same. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I would like my gauges to be that simplified, yeah. filled. <laughs> All right, keep it there. Uh, it is your compressor on? Is, is my your compressor one down there? No, I mean, I yeah. Well, I can hear it. A leak. It sounds like. Is it on? Yeah, it's the max. All right, we got plenty of pressure now. Like in, or push, no, we'll go ahead and probe her up, see what she does. All right, got plenty of power. It's gonna be hot under here.
Yeah, your compressor's not kicking on. There's plenty of power to it, but it's not kicking on. Uh-huh. No, you Yeah, I, I I would I would recommend replacing the compressor. Yeah, I couldn't get it to turn on and we got plenty of we got plenty of juice in there. It did leak out some. Uh no. It sounds like it's leaking out maybe back there. Yeah, it was a little over 40 and then now we're out about 32, 35 ish. Recommend obviously I would recommend replacing that compressor, but I mean you have a leak somewhere too, yeah. so that needs to be addressed. How, how you want to address it is up to you. I would probably get the die first, do all that, figure out where it's leaking, and then get the compressor and then um, figure out the components. If it's just like, I've had to replace those uh, before, those little O-rings, they leak. Did you replace an orifice tube on this anywhere? It it's just a little filter. There'll be an orifice tube right here and between these two lines. So anytime you see an AC line connected like that, there's gonna be a little, the orifice tube is just a filter. Yeah, do you do those? Oh yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. And then, how much does this diagnostic like for you like to finally call me? Oh, I can. <laughs> it's such a pain, man. Well, man, I can. Um, I'll just charge you for the uh, the die itself and stuff, and then we'll just I'll just come back out here and then we'll we'll pull that. I can actually. What I would recommend, what I could do really, is just get the kit that you need. The entire. If there is a leak anywhere, like, you know, I can get the little O-ring kit for that and get the orifice tube kit. I can get uh, the condensers kit, you know, just like the little, just the variety set of O-rings so I can replace all the seals. Yeah. And, um, but I can bring all that with me and then we can order a compressor and I can just do it all at once. I can find the leak, replace it or repair it and then put the new compressor would, in. You know when you'll be able to do that? It would be after the 25th. Yeah, so if you wanna, schedule something for them, I can for sure do that. So do you need to order the compressor now? Like, uh, not... Yeah, um, so I can order it or you can order it. If I order it, generally I have you like cash out me the money for it because okay. ordering it, I'll have to like, if you decide to do something else, then I have to return that and then that never goes good. I always have to pay like half fucking price for restocking and shit. Okay. So, but I mean, or I could just send you, um, I can make it as easy, as easy as possible, dude. However, wh whatever works for you. I'll probably just send you the money for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll send you over what what I find. Cause like I said, I'll want to do the kit with it just to make sure that there's not any other leaks. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just I'll send you over the kit and that new compressor because it'll come with it. Here you go. So it'll come with it. And then, um, yeah, we can just take it from there. And then you can see the the price difference on that. Oh, I got you. Dude, I like your wheels. I got some crappy time. So they are dude they really are today's typically my day off but oh, i was gotcha. kind of backed up you know what i mean so yeah. but I um oh yeah that. no for sure i got you dude I, your I truck's a hell of a lot nicer than mine yeah. <laughs> only thing wrong with it is the ac i don't have an engine light or anything yeah so. yeah that's cool I mean, I, yeah but on the website i kept calling one number and it was like it would never work i was like dang i really want this guy to like, watch yeah i gotta stuff. figure that out man yeah. i'm not i'm not good with the website and i'm man i just get a, i gotta have somebody that'll do it for me i'm just nervous about that because like how does that even work like are they able to get in my information all the time or yeah like, that's you know? true i my major is computer science and stuff and i i like the like i, I do web and, and uh like that back end and fun and stuff but most yeah. no not really the most people just give you the they'll give you the uh the range to it yeah yeah yeah, because I definitely I definitely need somebody. I got I got shirts to sell and all sorts of stuff. So because I mean the freaking I'm like booking and then the booking would never work. I was like man, like I would try to like, <laughs> no, the diagnostic, dude. like make the appointment yeah. online and stuff. And yeah, just always like have the same message and wouldn't go through. I was like dang it. So I was like I just need to call. And then I finally just Googled it, and that first number was the same one on the website I think. Yeah. And the same thing just never answer. And then I was like okay, let me call this other one that's underneath it. And yeah. I did and didn't answer and he called me right back. I was like. So yeah finally. yeah and that other that, that first not... number is a freaking google number i don't know how to take yeah. it off of there yeah man yeah that website stuff is pretty tough it is tough dude yeah and i need to figure it out though for sure but yeah, i'm about to hire somebody awesome. too so yeah i'm about to hire another mechanic so oh heck yeah expanded and stuff yeah so i won't be yeah so so i can be more futile yeah but all right brother yeah we're going thanks for it was out, great man. to meet you buddy I'll, I'll talk to you real soon thanks man you're welcome it was great to meet you